Welcome back to News Watch. I hope you're all having a great Monday and Labor Day holiday. Despite the rain we've seen today, those temperatures across the area, they're in the upper 60s to low 70s across the area. That rain has helped keep us cooler today and prevented those temperatures from warming up very much. We are still under this area flood watch until 11 o'clock tonight. Then that will be allowed to expire, but the threat for flooding will remain in the area for some more days this week. We're still seeing some rain make its way through the area. We can see some drier weather in just a small portion of the viewing area, but still much rain and many scattered showers pushing through our area at this five o'clock hour. There is still a lot of moisture to our southwest that's got to push up through the area. So we have more rain that we're going to see tomorrow and into Wednesday even. And we're going to see more rain for the end of the week. Well, actually, we're going to see a drier day on Friday and maybe even on Thursday. But then by the weekend, we're going to be seeing those rain chances coming back and going back up and more active weather is expected for the weekend. And for tomorrow morning, we're going to start out dry, but once we reach the afternoon hours, some more isolated showers are expected to pop up. And then for the rest of today on th Tuesday, we're going to see more showers continuing through later in the afternoon. Wednesday is going to start out dry just like Tuesday, but then more isolated showers expected for the early afternoon hours. We are still expecting to see three tenths of an inch, almost four tenths of an inch in most locations, but some locations we're going to be seeing another half inch of rain by the end of Wednesday. And Pocahontas County is expecting to see another additional inch or more of rain before we get to the end of Wednesday. So flooding is going to continue to be a concern for the rest of the beginning of this week. For tonight, we are under a level two flood threat. Tomorrow, that level two flood threat will shift to our north. The northern counties of our viewing area will still be under that level two flood threat, but most of us will remain under that level one flood threat for Tuesday. And then for Wednesday, the flood threat continues. A level one flood threat for the entire viewing area on Wednesday, as we are expecting more rain to continue to head into our direction. And over the next seven days, scattered showers will remain for your Tuesday, isolated showers will continue through the week, becoming lower in chances by Friday. Then for the weekend, we're going to see those chances go back up. More scattered showers are expected, especially in the evening hours. Those temperatures over the next seven days will be in the mid to upper 70s. The rain is going to prevent them from warming up any higher. And those temperatures overnight are going to fall in the upper 50s to low 60s.